I'm here with Nigel. So tell me all about what is this like coming together for you four times in a row, year after year? What's it like seeing it all come together? Well, it's, it's, it amazes me for a start. You know, we only come together at 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, we have to write the script, the people are coming in to rehearse, the poor lighting guys trying to get the lights together, the sound guys. It's one of those that you think, how is this ever, ever going to come together? And somehow it does, you know? So tell me about So You Think You Can Dance this season. What is it like to be on for so many years and Fox be so loyal to you? Um, I, I'm thrilled about that, you know, and to get seven Emmy nominations. Hopefully it's like giving back to Fox for, for their consideration, you know? So tell me about this year's talent for So You Think You Can Dance. Um, I, you know, I, I've said I think it's possibly one of the best 20 we've had. Uh, you know, I, we've had other seasons where stars have really shone. Uh, but as a 20, I think this season is fantastic. So before you go, tell me about what are you going to really want, what do you want to promote with Disney Feet, with all of the people I, my age? I want to make sure that the arts come back into the education system, into the curriculum. I, I'm not just saying, okay, you've got to go and do a dance lesson now, because it's not about that. But if we can use dance to actually integrate it into the education system, it, it, it uses both sides of the brain. And it goes into the episodic memory. So it's not just a fact that goes in and once you've written it down, a pasta test leaves you. This is something that stays with you. So it's a really important thing to keep the arts and creativity in a kid's education. And if, it, if it's not there, I think it's disregarding our children's lives. I, I truly do. Thank you so much for your time.